Greetings to everyone. You know, I've been on this campus many times over the years, and I'd like to begin by telling you what happened on the very first visit, and that was in 1965, 56 years ago. I was doing a, a postgrad teacher's diploma at the University of Cape Town, and this campus, you know, established by the regime when they introduced apartheid into, the, into higher education, had only been running for a few years. Uh, a few classmates and I thought we'd like to come through and show solidarity with our fellow students and we phoned up to ask for an appointment to meet the SRC. And we were told, sure, come next week, Tuesday at three o'clock, which we did. But when we arrived, we were met not by the SRC, but by the white rector. He said, sorry, classes ended at half past two and everyone's already gone home. He took us on a, a quick tour gave us a mug of tea and sent us on our way. But not before we asked him if we'd heard that the only member, the only member of staff who was not white, Adam Small, the poet, had a staff room all to himself. So he took his tea break alone and not with his white colleagues. He said, yes, that is the case, in compliance with the law. And that was the Separate Amenities Act. And I, I'm sure I'm not the only one here who can remember the whites only benches in the parks, the segregated buses and trains, the separate entrances of public buildings, etc. Later we found out that there was no SRC and that the student body had not been informed of our visit. So that's how it began. Now I'd like to jump 20 years to 1985. The, the struggle for freedom was intensifying across the country as was the state crackdown on protest, and times were tough and tense. I was running the Community Arts Project in Cape Town at the time, and we just staged a production of Ngugi's play about the life and times of Didan Kimati, the hero of the Mau Mau struggle against colonial oppression in Kenya. Like Mandela, Kimati was caught, tried for treason, and convicted. Unlike Mandela, who went to prison, Kimati got the death sentence and was hanged. Well, we were asked if we would perform a short excerpt from the play at, uh, on this campus at a rally to be held in support of the United Democratic Front, that umbrella body which brought together all those protest organizations in one unified opposition and which played such a crucial role in the downfall of apartheid. Now the main speaker was to be Trevor Manuel, but he was under banning orders at the time, which barred him from speaking publicly. And do you know that even our little play had caught the attention of the censorship board and we'd been banned from performing? But we said yes. And I took the actors through on the first day, uh, on the day of the rally. Uh, I took them through early, which is just as well because soon the entire campus came under siege. There were roadblocks and sirens and tear gas and armed police in caspers all over the place. And overhead, there were helicopters flying low and buzzing the crowd. But the, the rally went ahead. Trevor, Trevor, we did our bit, there was a bit of music. And Trevor said, keep going, keep on marching. Nothing can stop us now. And of course he was right, because although he himself was picked up some time after that and then held in detention on and off for the next three years, in, in 1990 Mandela was released and went on to become our first democratically elected president, with Trevor Manuel as his internationally regarded Minister of Finance. Uh, so those are my two snapshots and I, I hope you, you, you enjoyed them. I, in conclusion, I would like to say that I'm proud to be honoured by any, this institution which has played and is still playing such a pivotal role in the transformation of our country. Thank you very much for the award. Uh, I'm, I, it really means a lot to me and I feel deeply honoured. Thank you.